All right, uh, today we are on my Nexus 7 and we're going to go through an install and review of Paranoid Android on this thing. So let's get to that. Um, first, we're going to go into uh, Goo Manager and um, you want to make sure that you have right here uh, install open recovery script which is twerp recovery so you can go ahead and hit that if you have root on your device and install that uh, again Google manager can be gotten off the uh, google play google play you can get it from there download it and run it um, so then after you do that we're going to go into browse compatible roms and we're going to look for paranoid android right here and click through it until you get to these and we're going to go paranoid android grouper 2.15 that's the one i've downloaded already you can see if you click on it it has the download right there i've already done that so once you have downloaded it basically we're going to go to reboot recovery and you're going to hit yes now once you've rebooted this should open up Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. Um, so let's let that happen here. All right. All right. So first thing you're probably going to want to do is make a backup of your current ROM. So you're going to hit backup, and then you're going to hit swipe, and it's going to run a backup. Really won't take long, maybe about two minutes. So once that is done, which I have already done, you're going to go back and we are going to go to wipes and the first thing we're going to do is factory reset and we're going to swipe to wipe it um, this is really fast okay so back then we're going to do a cache swipe to wipe back and delvic cache swipe to wipe and back so we can go back again this little button down here then we're going to go to installs and we're already in SD card Goo Manager which is where I downloaded Paranoid Android and you can see it right down here at the bottom so we're going to select it and swipe to flash so it's going to go through the install process on this which shouldn't take too terribly long and probably like two minutes something like that and then we are going to go ahead and flash the ice cream or not ice cream sandwich sorry jelly bean g gaps and when that's done we will reboot all right so you can see it already did that so we're going to go back and we're going to go i have jelly bean google apps whoops right there and then we're going to swipe to flash and again these shouldn't take too long either very very fast because we're using team win recovery project this thing is basically lightning lightning speed in my opinion anyway so let's let this thing go through here okay so now you flash the rom and you flash the google apps so we should be able to reboot system now so hit reboot and we should boot up with paranoid android um, you might have a little while for this to boot. It might take a little bit. Make sure you always give your device at least 10 minutes in case there's something going on. Ooh, this is cool. Look at the little eyeballs. Um, so be patient on it and uh, give it time and uh, enjoy boot animations when you have them because I love them. Um, so let this thing boot up and then we'll go through the review on Paranoid Android 2.15. Ooh, I like it. It looks so cool. I'm going to pause here in case this takes a little bit, and we'll get back to it. All right, we have booted up. I'm going to skip through um, my setup really quick here. Let me put in my uh, password stuff. And Okay, whoa. All right, there we go. I'm not going to set this up at this moment, nor that. I'm going to skip past this and this and that and finish because we want to see our ROM okay so first thing you're going to notice is your notification bar is down here on the bottom now does it still pull down from up here I don't really know myself let's see here 
No, so you, so you have a battery down here. You have oh, there it goes. It's a little notification bar. You have battery. You have time. Wi-Fi signal. You have your home. Your other three buttons over here, um, which is a little different. And basically, this looks exactly like CM that I just installed. Um, let's see what applications it comes with. So Apollo, which is cool. Um, DSP manager. It comes with Google Manager installed. I really like that. I like think that feature is pretty cool. So you can pick other different ROMs you want because Google Manager is awesome. Um, also has Super Sue, not Super User, which is a good, very good Super User application. I really like it. I have it on some other devices. And Terminal. Otherwise, those are your standard applications in here for the most part. And your standard widgets. Yeah. So, what I want to do though is I want to get into some of the settings. So here you can extend your settings. So you have a whole bunch of toggles through here, Bluetooth, rotation, brightness, notifications. Let's go into settings though. Okay, so this is going to be a different looking interface because it is Parano Android. It's going to have more of a uh, tablet interface. As you can see, you got all these things on the side over here. Um, so let's go into some of our fancy settings on this thing. Um, we'll go to about tablet first. You can tell we are on uh, Android 4.1.1, which is Jelly Bean. Um, just some basic stuff there. And again, we're on Paranoid Android version 2.15. And then we're going to go into performance. Um, let's go to processor. And we have... Max CPU is 1300 megahertz. Min is 100. And you have your governor you can change there if you would like also. Let's go back one. Um, IO schedule you can change. Memory management. Basic, kind of basic stuff you got right there. Um, the cool thing with Paranoid Android is the Paranoid Android settings. So this is a little bit uh, interesting. Let's see, we got workspace. So you can pick your IU basically. Um, so do you want the, you know, notification bar to be on the bottom, which is like a tablet IU? Um, you want it to be like a phone. You can change it like that. You want it to be like stock. Let's cancel that. Or you want it to be like um, hybrid. So you can just pick your IU right there. And then we have uh, user interface, even more uh, settings in here. So let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, app default sizes, status bar sizes, lock screen size. Um, just a lot of different settings. I see I'm getting some inf stuff problems there. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, so different specific settings for each app if you want. Uh, also backup and restore settings. You know, this thing keeps giving me a system I has stop. So I'm actually going to change this to um, a hybrid here and I'm going to reboot and we're going to come back to it and see if it clears up those little force closes I'm getting. So let's hang on a sec. Alright, I just rebooted and just to show you guys what I just changed is instead of having our notification down here and these being over in the corner, you can see we have our three buttons back and we have um, a center pull down here for our notification bar and some toggles up there. So that has changed. We can now get into settings this way. And you can tell our layout here is different. Again, we don't have all that information on the side over here. So let's get back into the settings here. Um, let's see this. what this does here. So this is like phone tablet mode. I don't even know what this thing is. Let's see what options we have. Phone mode, tablet mode, or like a mix. Phone tablet. I don't even know what that is. So... There's some different settings in here you can check out and try and mess around with. Um, let's see what we got under system. All right, you got status bar. We can do center clock. So now your clock's in the center, which I think that is pretty cool. Um, battery style. I always like percentage. So now we have a percentage up there. We can see how much we have. And we're going to go back. And look at some of the other issues. We got wallpaper, navigation bar. Um, 
Let's see what this says. To begin editing, tap the icon. That's interesting. I'll have to play with this some more, guys, so I can show it to you. Um, power menu. So this is going to be, I want screenshots on there. Reboot menu, yeah. Switch profile can take off. So what that is, is it's actually when you hold down your power button, it gives you a bunch of options, like screenshot. You can hit it, and it'll take a screenshot of your device. So those are nice settings. Let's see what we got for launcher. This is running Trebuchet Launcher 0.2, which is all right. I'll probably put something else on there uh, more along the lines of Apex Launcher. That's one of my favorites. Uh, let's see what we got for lock screens. So you can change your wallpaper on your lock screen, and it'll be different than what is on the device. Uh, your owner information, weather, um, calendar slide shortcuts. Let's put a different one in there. Let's put um, application, Google Manager, OK, then save it up here in the top. And now there's Google Manager there on that spot. So that's nice. You can put some different sliders, lock stuff in there. Let's see what else we got here. Um, actually, let's look at screen security. Slide is what it's got. It has face unlock. I don't know if that works or not. Pin, password, pattern. Got all those options in there. Pretty sure face unlock would work since it's Jelly Bean and we do have a front facing camera. Let's see, we got themes. Just theme chooser. You can download any probably CM10 themes. Should work on that. You find on Google Play. And yeah, that system, we look through that. So, yeah, that's, that's most of your features on here. Paranoid Android is pretty cool because that it has this other interface of like a tablet kind of looking thing. See, here's your picture you just took. So we can see that. Um, just because you can change the interface a lot. There's a lot of modification you can do on it. Looks like we're locked here. It may not change in, uh, in the launcher mode. But, yeah, so, like I said, a bunch of notifications. Seems to run really, really nice and smooth. Um, and you do have your overclocking and those kind of things. Not really overclocking, but 1300 megahertz speeds. Let's look at super user really quick so you can see this. Go settings. No thanks. So, you got your super user app, app here, or super su. So there you go. That's pretty much most of the stuff you got on this. Um, I really like it just because there's some real cool, cool tweaks you can do in that paranoid Android settings. Once you get into it, you can really adjust a lot of things under that right here. So there you go, guys. Um, check it out. See if you like it. Um, install it and see, see what you think. Thanks for checking it out.